Okay, so Brent and Oliver Simmons here with Restoration Roofing. Oliver, hmm. what is a square? A square is a shape. Can you draw a square for me? Yeah. All right, let's see it. All right, good job. Thanks. So obviously in today's video, we are talking about squares. So most people, when they think of the word square, they think of the shape or something like this that Oliver did. But if you're a carpenter, you may think of a square as a tool. So this is actually a carpenter square. Framers and carpenters use these. It's the name of a tool, even though it's a triangle. But in roofing, we actually use the term square as a unit of measure. So I've got a little bit of math up here. If you're in the process of getting a roof, this could probably help you out if you're reading over quotes to see, you know, how big my roof is. So one square is actually a hundred square feet. So since, you know, roofs are very large, you know, 3,000, 4,000 square feet, it just helps us to, to shorten it to 30 squares, 40 squares, so on and so forth. So let's go through a little math problem here. The average size roof in America is around 30 squares. So we're doing the math. That's actually 3,000 square feet, right? Um, so one square is equal to about three bundles of shingles. Oliver is sitting on some three tab shingles right now. Um, so these three bundles right here equals one square, approximately a hundred square feet. Now, um, three tab shingles and architectural shingles are very similar in that most of them are three bundles per square. When you get into higher end designer shingles, some of them are four bundles per square. Some of them are five bundles per square. So for 99% of the roofs out there, it's three bundles per one square. So if we wanted to determine how many bundles we want to use, um, of shingles, and these are just the field shingles. These are the shingles you see. This does not include starter or hip and ridge. It's another very simple equation. So the same 30 square house times three bundles per square puts us right at 90 bundles of shingles. Now, that's not gonna be enough to do 30 squares. When a roofer is installing these shingles, they're actually having to cut. There's a lot of waste. So as a basic rule of thumb, we start at about 15% waste. If it's a very simple house, we can go down to 12%. Um, but you will see a waste factor of anywhere from 15 to 25% on very, very complex and cut up homes. But let's just use 15% waste factor. So that 90 bundles that we're going to use, we multiply it by 1.15 to give us that extra 15%, which means you would need 103.5 rounding up to 104 bundles to do 30 squares of shingles. So I hope this video has been informative. If you're in the process of buying a roof, you can also ask us some questions down in the comments. I'm happy to help out. And um, yeah, good luck out there. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And if you're in the Memphis area, give us a call 901-854-3402.